Okay, half past three, nine degrees outside. Yeah, guess what? The flock is back. Hey, eh? the flock is back. Is that right? Hmm? Would like some afternoon delight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't you got yours? What have you done with it? All right. Well, you better take it then. There we go. There we go. Yes, boys. Yes. You can have yours. You can have yours. That's it. What about you, little fella? Hey? You want that? Yes, yes, yes. You can have yours. There you are. You happy with that? Hmm? And we don't appear to have a swamp wallaby at the moment. But we still have seven kangaroos and two joeys in the pouch. And that's pretty nice, is it not? Hmm? Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, yes, you're keeping the ladies and their footlings safe. Hmm? Escorting them around about the place. Hmm? I suppose everybody wants a biscuit now. Would that be right? You want a biscuit too? Yes, you stay there and I'll go and get your biscuit. Cast thy bread upon the waters, they say. Well, I reckon it's cast thy spare bread and biscuits upon the wildlife. And that works pretty well. Doesn't it, darling? Hey? Yes, I know you'd rather it was bread. I know you'd rather it was bread, but there is no more bread. Come on. Come on. That's it. We'll just have to eat a biscuit. If I throw it down there, will you eat it? Yes, you'll, you'll eat a biscuit, but you won't take it out of my hand. One for you. Did you get yours? You probably want another one. You'll want one. Oh, you've still got bread. Well, aren't you clever? Hey, and if we have a look over here, let's hope you can see that. Yes, I think you probably can. That there is Mrs. Redneck Wallaby, Mrs. Euro, and her little footling. Because this is a milk fed footling, too big to fit in the pouch running around, staying close to mum, and she's a young mum too. Yes, her second little offspring, I think. Kind of hard to keep track of them when you've got as many as this. But anyway, no, 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 don't you, don't you hassle. There you go. Ah, oh, you rotten, you greedy old bugger, hey? You've chased them away. Look at them out there, running off, looking back, all struck but trusting and still somewhat scared of the phenomenon. If you hadn't have gone over there thinking that they had bread, I would have got a better shot of them. Yes, I would have. Such is my conjecture, if not actual conceit. Perhaps. But I think they would have played ball, as they usually do. Birdies are having fun. Yes. Everybody happy? You bet your life we are. Isn't that right? And the funny thing is, on a cold, windy, sometimes drizzly sort of a day, the kangaroos don't give a shit whether I can't be bothered doing me hair or not. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.